Thank you, Jackie. My name is Robin Salim, and we have a uh, grand opening celebration tomorrow at our new store, Sunny Baker Solutions. We'll have seven free workshops out back tomorrow, including building a straw metal wall. We'll have several workshops at this facility in the future, from anything from veggie oil to uh, doing water. Here's a picture of my Mercedes that I have uh, converted to run on used vegetable oil. And a very interesting fact, the, uh, the diesel motor was actually designed to run on peanut oil, not on diesel. And Rudolph Diesel in 1920 when he designed it shortly after that he disappeared. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, is this actually cleaner? Well, if you look down at the bottom, there is my biodiesel vehicle. Here's your unleaded. And here is the E85 vehicle on the carbon emissions. Not much off a regular diesel, is it? But they're cramming E85 down our throats. I don't get it. But is this a clean, easy thing to do? No, not really. Here I am collecting the oil back behind uh, actually the sportsman bar and grill over by a nearest store. Um, so if you want to do it, you're going to have to get down and dirty. It is not a clean, easy thing to do. But it's much, much cleaner than the environment. And here's cleaning up my filter, which I had forgotten to do for several weeks. This is what's left over from our food. Isn't that just about that? <laughs> so you want to wear the gloves and your garage does wind up being kind of like you, but that's fine. So why are we doing this then? I'm doing it for the kids. Because if we don't start doing something now, what future do they have if you really think about it? I don't see much. Uh, here's a shot of a uh, photovoltaic system we put up in St. Joseph, Minnesota a couple of years ago. Interesting thing about photovoltaics is an expensive thing. Yeah, it is. I ran the numbers a couple months ago. An average size home system will run you $160 a month for 20 years. That's not that much money if you think about it, considering the national average for electricity is 150 What else can we do? We do compact fluorescents. These are compostable picnic things, as opposed to styrofoam plates and whatever biodegrade in 45 days. TV packs that will uh, charge your phones and all the environmentally friendly cleaning supplies. We all really need to start doing this as opposed to pouring bleach down the drain. Here's some uh, window quilts. Uh, you can actually cover your windows with these and it increases your energy efficiency at home hugely. It's uh, much, much cheaper than regular windows and uh, I think they're quite beautiful. And how much? Uh, how much more do they get? Here's the window coat. Here's your brand new window that you spent $1,000 to put in. And window coats installed are about $100. I think that's a much, much better way to go. And of course, the simplest thing we all can do is recycle, recycle, recycle. I think most of us are probably doing that, but are we buying recycled goods? I don't know. Some people are, some people are not. And you notice I put four, four arrows here, it's now reduce, recycle, restore, reuse. This is a solar attic fan that you can put on your roof that actually reduces your air conditioning costs up to 30%. And it does qualify for the federal tax credit. Just get the air moving in your house. We do not need to blow air conditioning at it all the time. Get the air moving. My store has no air conditioning. Here's a cabin system. It's actually my cabin. Yeah, it looks like a hunting shack. Do we really need more than that with the lake? This is 100% off the grid. There's my TV array, my hot water system, and my heat system. I have never paid a single utility dollar out there for three years. Solar hot water heaters. We'll, uh, you can do about 70% of your hot water off of these. Um, interesting fact, if you don't do this in 40 years, you will pay $90,000 to heat your hot water. This will cost you $7,200 over that same period of time. I think it's a no brand. Alternative building. Here's some straw mill construction. I think they're quite beautiful homes. A lot of these homes use zero heat. They're phenomenally energy efficient, and I think they're quite beautiful homes. They really, really are. Let's just all start building alternatively. Here's another alternative building method called 
cordwood masonry, you stack 16 inch pieces of lumber and uh, you build a masonry and hugely, hugely energy efficient. Uh, this is a home we built up in uh, up near Grand Array. This gorgeous, gorgeous home. Alright, this is an interesting one. This is a simulation of the plastic bags used in the US. This is 60,000 plastic bags in every five seconds. Two million beverage bottles every five minutes. Let's start reducing what we're using plastic. We don't need it. There's plenty, plenty of other alternatives. Passive solar. Heating your house in the winter, in the winter not heating your summer, house in the summer. Don't need them cheap, them, do we? We're using the sun for let's start building this way. Three foot overhangs on your house blocks the summer sun. Beautiful, beautiful way of doing it. This is the uh, kind of an average home build today. Do we need to build this big? <laughs> average home site being built in 1940, 850 square feet. Today, over 3,200 or half the people. I don't think we need it, do you? Finally, let's depart solar. This is a, a solar array, a solar power plant, sorry, in Spain, providing all the power. Let's just start supporting. Renewable energy now. 